Hi, I'm Corey Weatherton. I'm Director of Product Development for the Jayco Motorhome Group. I'm excited to show you today a new model year 2024 that's fresh off of our line. Uh, this is the Jayco Red Hawk 24B. We've made some great enhancements for this model year that I think you're going to be excited about as the end user of this unit. Uh, so I want to show you some of the new things that we've done for this model year, but then also talk about what makes a Jayco Red Hawk uh, one of the best values in the market today. Uh, first and foremost, let's start with what is a Red Hawk. The Red Hawk is, is uh, one of our Class Cs that we've been building for a number of years now. Um, I like to tell people that uh, our motorhomes, our Class Cs specifically, uh, rather than calling them names, let's just call them trim levels. Uh, we have a Red Hawk SE, a Red Hawk, and a Gray Hawk. What's the difference? The difference is amenities. So the Red Hawk is going to be our mid-trim level unit and has some great value at this price point. First and foremost, what I want to point out is our one-piece fiberglass front cap. There are no seams on this. Um, our walls go from uh, the rear of the coach to the very front of this cap. Our bunk platforms come all the way over to the edge of the cap. And so just like uh, my hand is a structure and maybe I want to put a rubber glove on it to protect it while I'm doing the dishes, um, we have the structure there and then we put this front cap on to protect this uh, seam right here that we've covered up. Every other manufacturer in the industry has that horizontal seam and that seam I can tell you is a future leak point on this motorhome. And so we know that, every manufacturer knows that, and so the way we've addressed that issue is by adding this one piece fiberglass front cap. It is a great value to use the end customer because as soon as water gets into this unit, your investment, in all honesty, has just went down the drain, and we want to protect your investment. Uh, so we add that one-piece fiberglass front cap. New for this model year, on this front cap, we have added a front window to this unit. Now, we've been installing this style front cap on our motorhomes uh, since 2017, and I can tell you that uh, my office is right beside our customer service department. We've had zero warranty claims on any water infiltration in that front cap. I know some of you may be watching and say, oh, I remember my grandpa had a 1970 fill in the blank with whatever. The window was awesome, but it just leaked like crazy. This is an automotive bonded windshield, different than what grandpa had. Um, just like the chassis manufacturer has about a quarter inch recess, three quarter inch lip, we have the same on this cap. Uh, the same sealant that they're using around that front windshield we're using on our front window as well. As it cures, it never fully gets hard. So just as this chassis buffets going down the road um, and, the, and the glass is able to flex with it, in the same way as our cap buffets a little bit going down the road, uh, that glass will not break and zero water infiltration. Uh, so that is new for this model year and we're excited because a lot of you have been asking for that. We have it on the Greyhawk. When are we gonna have it on the Redhawk? Well, this is your year for that. Another thing that makes Jayco unique is everything we build, we put a ride and handling package on it, the J-Ride package. So we're building on the E450 chassis, never on the 350. Why never on the 350? Simply because we want you to have as much cargo capacity as possible. Some manufacturers are gonna build on a 350. You do that, you're gonna lower your GVW, and all of a sudden it starts to get a little sloppy as you drive. Uh, this 450 gives us all the payload capacity we feel that you as a camper need. Uh, so on this E450 chassis, we're doing three different things to, to make up the J-Ride system. The first is a computer balanced drive shaft. Um, when we build longer Red Hawks, we have to cut and stretch the chassis. When we do that, we go from a two-piece drive shaft to a three-piece drive shaft, and then we computer balance all three together at the same time. Now, if you drive one of our competitors, you're not going to feel a shake or shimmy. I can pretty much guarantee that. They know how to balance uh, two and then one. But what you're going to notice different in a Jayco is that we've eliminated a lot of white background noise inside of this coach. Uh, so what do I compare that to? When you were a kid, you were probably told if you stick a seashell up to your ear, you hear the ocean. It's simply not true. And the fact is, is that sound is accentuated in enclosed spaces. So I'm inside this coach going down the road. That's kind of the seashell. I have tightened that drive shaft as tight as humanly possible, computer possible. And as a result, we've eliminated a lot of that white background noise that would be accentuated on the inside. Second thing we're doing with this chassis is when we get it from Ford, there's rubber isolation mounts up and down both frame rails. We take those off during the upfitting process. Upfitting simply means adding the risers and the cross members that the house is gonna sit on. And then we reinstall them in front and behind your rear axle. Ford puts those on to reduce road noise and vibration. 
We're the only manufacturer that reinstall those during the manufacturing process to help give you that quiet ride going down the road. And so the rubber isolation mounts are a big deal. They're free to us. Ford gives them to us, so we just give them right back to you to give you that better ride than what our competitors will be. Finally on this coach, the third thing we're doing is adding Helwig helper springs. Helwig helper springs help with the stability of the coach, the left to right rocking, as well as if you're going to use uh, the full tongue weight capacity of this unit, which is 750 pounds. And to point that out, Ford rates this chassis at a tow capacity of 7,500 pounds. The way trailers are made, um, your tongue capacity is 10% of your tow capacity. So if this can tow 7,500 pounds, your tongue capacity on that trailer is 750 pounds. The difference with Jayco compared to our competition is we're the only manufacturer that can safely tow 7,500 pounds utilizing that 750 pound tongue capacity. Every other manufacturer just has a 500 pound tongue weight capacity. And because of our upfitting process, how we're, how we're sleeving and, and putting diamond gussets in our stretch, um, how we're adding the Hellwig helper springs, we're using Ford OE um, frame rails going all the way to the back versus just a flat plate piece of steel. Um, that gives us that 10% ratio that you're looking for. So if you're pulling a horse trailer, a cargo trailer, a potentially a, a, a car hauler, you're gonna want to check out a Jayco for sure to be able to safely tow uh, anything you want to up to 7,500 pounds with that 750 pound ton capacity. Uh, also what makes Jayco unique, not only our front cap, not only um, the uh, J-Ride, but also the two plus three warranty. That's the best in the industry. Everybody else in the industry is simply a one year warranty. We give you two years of warranty because we firmly believe in our, our craftsmanship, the engineering behind this, and we will stand behind this for a complete two years. It's, it's limited by 24,000 miles and also just customer negligence. So we'll stand behind this product after we build it. Uh, also on this unit, you're gonna see we have frameless windows here. Frameless windows are great because uh, they block the sun's UV rays from the frame seals. Frame seals, if exposed uh, to the UV rays, they will break down over time, become a future leak point. And so we've given you frameless windows on this as well. Um, on the roof, you're gonna find this is a full one-piece TPO roof, fully walkable. It is crowned, so it sheds water quite nicely. Uh, we can option 200 watts of solar on this if you would like. We can also option hydraulic leveling jacks. So Jayco, you're going to find we have very few options. On this exterior, it is solar. It is jacks on the inside. Question arises on certain floor plans, do you want theater seats or do you want the dinette slash sofa? So those are your options uh, with Jayco. So the exterior of the coach, you're going to have your, your uh, side view cameras, and then also a rear backup camera. So it's been the outside of this 2024 Jayco Redhawk 24B. Let's go inside and check it out. Alrighty, so we're inside this beautiful 24B Redhawk. And I can tell you, this is one of our best selling floor plans. I, if I had to label this coach, I would say it's a couple's coach. Uh, maybe a small family coach, but more so a couple's coach or a singles coach. It's such a small footprint, but inside your square, foot living space is incredible courtesy of this full wall slide and automatically if you're familiar with our 23 red hawks you're going to see a lot of enhancements just by looking at this video first and foremost we've changed out all of our wall board colors um, we have lighter on our mains and a little bit darker in our slide rooms to give that contrasting look you'd like uh, we did change out the colors of our countertops our pressed countertops and then also our tabletops this is the new Asheville decor inside of this we also option modern farmhouse um, this Asheville decor, we've changed out the vinyls. It's very soft and supple. Feels very good. For the Jayco, we are concerned about safety. Uh, why do I say that? Because we're the only manufacturer that gives you standard a seat belt in every seating position. So this U-shaped dinette has three seat belts in it. When we do a booth dinette, you have four seat belts in it. So this coach can uh, safely handle five individuals traveling in this. You have your three and then two and your captains up front. Uh, this coach as well, we've changed out flooring for this model year. Um, one of the things also contributing into safety, I, I like to tie in our two-year warranty. Like, why does, why is Jayco able to give a two-year warranty? Um, things such as our front overhead bunks. Our front overhead bunks are rated at 750 pounds. Um, the average in the industry is around 450 to 500. Will 750 pounds ever be up there? I honestly don't know. But at the same time, we've given you uh, just the peace of mind that our engineering is solid behind this coach, backing it up with this two-year warranty. Um, 
Within this coach, what are some of the features? We have a 15,000 BTU air conditioner. Uh, it is fully ducted, insulated, and so you get a lot of, of air output out of these ducts. You have a six gallon hot water heater. It is gas and electric, so you can either run it off of propane or electric or use them both in rapid recovery mode and it'll replenish itself about three times in an hour. Also new for this model year, um, as we drift over to this, the kitchen area, we have changed out to all stainless steel appliances just to give it that higher end look. Inside this Asheville decor, you'll notice that our faucets, all of our hardware are gonna be stainless steel looking. And so um, just give you that high end look with inside of this. Now, when you drift to Modern Farmhouse, you get your white cabinetry and we're also going to a matte black hardware at that point. Um, but you, within this, you have your, your stainless microwave, you have a, a combo cooktop as well as oven. We know a lot of you folks still love using your, your RV ovens and so give you that in this. New for this model year, I want to point out, we have moved to 12 volt refrigerators. Uh, 12 volt refrigerators, in my opinion, are, are just a great upgrade. I say a great upgrade because when we're using the gas electric refrigerators, within this same footprint, we're only able to get an eight cubic foot refrigerator. Now when we go to 12 volt, it moves up to 10 cubic foot. So you're gaining a lot more interior space. A couple more gallons of milk if, if you wanna haul more. Also what's great about these is they run directly off of uh, your 12 volt battery or batteries. If you option solar, you get two batteries. Without that, you have one house battery standard. So we're not running it through an inverter, so it's very efficient. So you get a lot of runtime on this uh, on this 12 volt refrigerator. Absolutely incredible. This small floor plan has a ton of storage space, a ton of storage capacity. Over your dinette, you have a bank of cabinets. Obviously, your kitchen's not lacking any space. When we move over into um, more of the bedroomish area, we have a lot of, of uh, area here to either put camp chairs or you can put in uh, clothes, anything folded. And then also within your pantry, we've given you slide out drawers, recognizing that um, these are a heck of a lot more convenient than trying to reach into a shelf. So want to make sure your pantry was very convenient. A couple drawers down below uh, behind the uh, sofa, or excuse me, the dinette, you do have an area for puzzles, board games, or even throw blankets if you'd like. Moving back into the bathroom, the bathroom, as you'll notice, as I referenced, is, is stainless steel uh, uh, fixtures. You have a nice medicine cabinet. Um, the shower is very spacious. We do have a skylight in there for those of you who are taller. I'm six foot three. You know, we want to accommodate taller folks as well. And so you're able to easily stand in that shower and get your shower and round it out by a very spacious toilet um, in the corner of this of this unit. Uh, coming back into the bedroom, you can see that uh, you do have your overhead cabinets. And there again, a very spacious bed, uh, queen size bed. It is a foldable mattress. And so in, when we bring this slide in, it's a hinged one. So I'll just simply flip that over and then bring my slide in at that point. And then behind me, just a bank of storage. You have, you have uh, four different uh, drawers here. And then behind me, you have a massive wardrobe that you can put not only your uh, fall clothes in, but your winter and your summer if you don't want to store all that stuff in your home closet. So a lot of storage inside of this coach. Um, I just want to thank you for taking time today to watch this video. Again, my name is Corey Weatherton. I'm Director of Product Development here at Jayco Motorhome Group. And I want to encourage you, if you have any questions, contact your local dealer. If you don't know who your local dealer is on our website, we have a dealer uh, finder. They'll be able to tell you who's closest to you. And then also give them a call. Find out how uh, you can set up a viewing to look at this 24B Red Hawk or one of our other motorhomes. If you have more technical questions and, and you happen to stump your local dealer, always feel free to call us here at the factory and we'll connect you with one of our local regional sales managers who'll be able to help answer uh, pretty much all of your questions that you'll have. Thanks for watching today and uh, appreciate your time. I do hope to see you camping this coming fall and summer in a Jayco motorhome.